Hi, in this video we're going to take a look how to install um, and configure the Virus AG plugin in Cubase Pro. Um, but before we go into the Cubase Pro, um, in the Virus AG product page, go to Tutorials tab and check out the videos how to install the plugin in your uh, desired platform and how to configure the MIDI inside Windows or Mac OS and also the configuration guide for the virus C or TI. Um, TI menus are basically the same across all models and virus A, B and C has the same configuration guide and this video has uh, both virus C and virus TI explained. So uh, before we go into the details in Cubase Pro I would like to state out that I am not a Cubase Pro expert user, so there's a lot of areas that are unknown for me. Um, before we go to insert, insert any tracks, um, let's go to audio connections, and I've set up all of my inputs here, so Radat summarizing is coming into the mixer, and then I've got virus TI, all of the three outputs from the virus are rooted into my Thunderbolt. So there we go. And also the output is configured here as well. I'm not using external instruments. Uh, well, because I'm, I'm quite unfamiliar with how they work in the Cubase Pro. So I'm just doing it this quite in a simple way how I always uh, test things out in the Cubase environment. Next up, I go to Studio Setup and I'm going to go through all of the MIDI ports right here to make sure that everything is properly set. And it looks like everything is not like they should be. So Virus C desktop and TI desktop, I'm going to disable the input stream from these synths so that it doesn't pass into the Cubase. Then I'm going to go track quick controls and make sure that uh, none of these has assigned MIDI ports uh, to the hardware so that's all done okay next up let's add the instrument track and this is the virus AG you should see it right here and let's create add and now that we have done all of the MIDI routing setup, we can go to the multi settings, choose the appropriate model. I'm going to use the virus C and virus TI in this sample. So let's choose the virus C desktop right here and again here. And plugin is ready to go. So we can synchronize data from hardware or we can start from scratch and start double clicking presets in order to hear them from the virus. So in this case, I'm just going to synchronize data from the virus so you can see how it works. Next up, I'm going to create MIDI tracks and these tracks I'm going to assign to the virus C MIDI. And I'm going to create multiple tracks let's say four and change the channels to appropriate channel numbers so we have virus C MIDI 1 2 3 and 4 and if we start to play them uh, you can see the LED blinking here on the plugin GUI so the MIDI is coming into this channel but in order to make this work a lot better and to stay in sync a lot better I would recommend to set this directly into the hardware so it doesn't go into the plugin and from there into the hardware so now if we play it it passes the plugin and goes directly into the hardware in order to hear the sound we need to create the audio tracks and let's call this Ray Dad sum okay so that is um, summarizing input from the radat where all of my virus channels are mixed and then we need to choose the input and enable monitoring so 
Let's say I go to part four and hit notes. We can hear the bass. And obviously this is again assigned into the wrong MIDI. Same here. And same here as well. So it appears you need to do this individually for each of the channels, but uh, keep that in mind. Okay, moving on. So now that we've got the input coming into the DAW and we have the MIDI channel set, um, maybe we could do some automation. So currently it doesn't display a great deal here. But if we go to, let's say, part two and go to more, see right here, and we can actually choose cut off to filter out the options we want to see. So let's choose the uh, part two filter one cut off. And there we have it. So now if we change the value, we can see the value changing in the plugin GUI. And the same goes the other way around. And if I go to the hardware and change the filter cutoff on part two, that will also change in the plugin GUI and in the EAW. So let's say we want to do automation here. Let's try that. And if we hit play, it's going to send the automation into the hardware and that's it. So I hope this video helps to set up the Virus AG plugin in Cubase Pro and how to get the audio and MIDI set up properly. And in the next video, we're going to take a look how to use the librarian functions in Logic Pro X. And because I'm a Logic Pro X user, it's a lot more comfortable platform for me to demonstrate the plugin usage in its best. So see you in this next video. Bye.